Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm not sure if I'll be posting the video of me dyeing my hair red before or after this video, but um, if I post it after, then obviously you don't know I have red hair yet, or some of you don't, but I dyed my hair red and um, there's a whole process to it. I didn't bleach it or anything like that, so if you want to know how I went from jet black hair to red then watch the video I had already uploaded or will upload. Today we're going to go from this hot mess to a little bit less of a hot mess um, using only drugstore products. So to start off with we are going to go in with these um, the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer and basically treat it as a primer. Also my hands are like dyed red because um because I'm a hot mess and actually I just washed my hair so yeah it the red just keeps coming out it doesn't look like it but trust me if you saw my shower yeah also if you hear my lovely family in the background I apologize they are loud and they are right outside my door next we're gonna go on to foundation and for foundation my favorite foundation in the world is this elf photo focus foundation yeah I think that's what it's called flawless finish photo no not photo focus that's wet and wild flawless something I don't know it's it's the that's the one that looks like this okay okay and yes it's my favorite foundation on the first day of school this is just gonna be a talkative get ready with me clearly because I'm talking a lot so um, on the first day of school I tried the what was it um, I believe it was all nighter but I mixed it with the Dermacol foundation and yeah I looked horrible by the end of the day like I just looked terrible I was like what is going on it was breaking apart on my nose my smile lines were like insane and like oh god it was bad so I had went back to my elf foundation the next day and all my problems were solved for the most part like my foundation still gets in my um, smile lines because I've never been able to get rid of them, but at least it's not as bad, you know? Now that we look crazy, um, I don't go, I don't use concealer, not really anyway, unless I am doing a video, but even today I'm like, I don't really want to do it, so I'm not gonna. We're moving on to setting powder, and for setting powder, we're going to be using the Cody Airspun Translucent powder face powder loose face powder whatever okay it's this okay it's this so I'm just taking it on this huge eco tools brush and pressing it into a musky by the way if you didn't know my hair isn't greasy it's just wet because I got out of the shower recently so I do believe this foundation is a uh, too dark for my skin tone a little bit but it's the lightest one they have and again it's a an amazing foundation so I deal with it Okay, full face only jug store. I need to like focus on what this video is actually about and stop talking all the time. So I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Coricon, Col Coricon, Coloricon, Color Icon. How could I? The Wet n Wild Color Icon blush in pearlescent pink. It's the only blush I use. Um, I'm not really a blush person, so if I find a blush I like, I'm just gonna use it until. I'm done with it, okay? I'm just gonna switch things up because I don't care. It's just blush. Highlighters, though. I will buy a million highlighters and feel no remorse. Yeah. Alright, it's time to move on to eyebrows. However, I don't have a product from the drugstore for my eyebrows. So, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that part I'm sorry um, and uh, just use my ABH dip brow um, I'm sorry I don't have a drugstore eyebrow product which is weird because I could have sworn I did but I guess I don't for those of you who want to know how I do my eyebrows well they're not the same shape because um, I don't know they're just they're just not the same shape the tails go in different directions I shouldn't have pointed that out because now you're going to look and know that they go different directions because I pointed it out. But um, I'm okay with that. And honestly, I don't care if they're not perfect because it's eyebrows. 
so I start right here and you see this like gap here like I'll just I'll just do it I can't talk I done messed up right there of course when I finally show you guys I'm just gonna mess up <laughs> and then I kind of like take it from the middle and boop, drag it out it's like people ask me how I do my eyebrows sometimes and honestly I don't like doing my eyebrows I don't think I'm good I don't think that's my strong point in makeup but oh what I'm doing now is I'm lining up the end of my nose to the corner of my eye to my eyebrows so that way I make sure that my eyebrow touches the brush because I don't know that's just what I saw on the internet and it looks good so so after I draw those lines I just kind of fill in the bottom or the tail and the top and then I come in here and I draw little hair strokes Yes, I know that the, the it went like past my eyebrow, but we're going to fix that in a second. I always do that. So after I have those strokes, I just kind of like wipe it away. Go away. Okay. We don't want our eyebrow has to be that tall. Okay. Okay. And I just kind of match this side to my left eyebrow. And honestly, there's no magic trick to how I do it. My eyebrows are fairly symmetrical. Like I said, the tail is kind of, they go different ways, but if you have symmetrical eyebrows, it's easy to fill in your brows, in my opinion. Okay, so my eyebrows aren't completely even. Um, I know that and I don't care. Um, so now I want to move on to eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, I have a few options, and by few, I mean a very select few options because I don't buy or necessarily use um, drugstore eyeshadow palettes often, but okay, I have three options here. I have the CoverGirl True Naked Roses palette. I love this palette. The color, I just love the colors. I don't know. I also have this boring palette. I'm sorry, but I'm just going to say it how it is. It's boring. Um, just this nude palette by L'Oreal. L'Oreal? Yes, L'Oreal. And then I have a bunch of Coastal Scents eyeshadows. Now these, um, I buy them, bought them when they were on sale for 95 cents each. They're amazing, okay? There's like not much fallout. I've been going ham in this section right here, like like, I've been using the, this section a lot, and there is not much powder around it. There's a little bit, not much. I am impressed. I'm going to go in with the lightest shade and put it all over my lid with my finger. I think that's kind of shiny. I don't know, but I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. Oh. No. 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 This does have a lot of shine in it. And I like dragged that down the side of my nose. Uh, <laughs> dang it. I don't want a shiny nose. Uh. And guys, you, let me just say this. Okay, so <laughs> let me just say, anyway, you don't need expensive makeup to do good at makeup. I literally, my holy grail foundation is a like $6 elf foundation compared to $40 or $50 foundations I have. Like, so just saying, drugstore can be just as good or better than high-end products. I think I'm just going to do my signature like peach look that I've been going to recently and go into this little corner here again. I'm going to go in with this shade and this shade all in my crease and on my lid. Dark Mango is the orangier one and Petal Peach is the like, I don't know, less orangey one. And I'm just gonna mix those two shades and put it on in my crease and all over my lid because I don't know. Why am I talking like this? Sorry if this video is like obnoxiously long. Um, 
I don't know. I just, I just, I miss filming. So I'm like talking a lot. I may cut out like a, a whole lot of this and I just don't know it yet. But um, editing, Kyla, please don't cut out my words. Okay, thank you. I want to talk to my people. I will say I have been loving not using eyeliner recently and just going in with these two shades on my lid. Like this has been <coughs> Ooh. my signature look ever since I received these shades in the mail. Um, I really, really do like Coastal Sense eyeshadows. They are... They are very good quality and have little to no fallout unless you're like digging in there hardcore. Okay, so now that I have this look kind of like, or eyeshadow kind of mess, mess, <laughs> messily placed on my eyes, um, I think I'm done with the eyes already. Okay guys, so I think I'm done with the eyes. I don't want to do eyeliner. I'm not going to. I may look weird on camera, but I know in real life I look better without it. So, well, I think so anyway, so I'm just gonna highlight now. Okay, you know what's been really irritating me about this highlight? This is the Eclipse by Jeffree. <sighs> um, it has, like, a seal over it because, like, if you use your finger to, like, rub it or, like, place it on your cheeks to rub it and swatch it, it starts sealing over because of, like, the oil in here or something. I don't know. But it starts sealing over, then it's hard to dig in there and actually, like, like get to the actual product. So I'm like over here like, hey, give me some product. So I, I wouldn't recommend touching it with your fingers a lot. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is the Eclipse highlight, the um, Manny MUA and Jeffrey collab, if you didn't know. If you're curious, I think it just came back too. Ooh, can y'all see that? I have my um, lights and um, set up a lot different right now, so Hopefully you can, hopefully like the quality and everything's still good and you can see things a little better. Um, I used to use my ring light to set my phone on, but it's like crooked now and doesn't want to work for me. So there's that. And we're going to go for a blinding highlight today, which my mother hates. She does not like a really blingy highlight. It's kind of funny, to be honest. Cause I'm over here bathing in highlighter. Okay, I'm gonna do mascara and waterline eyeliner and my lips and I will be right back. All right guys, I put on mascara and um, liner on my waterline and my favorite liquid lipstick, favorite to liquid lipstick, which is the Maybelline, what is this? Superstay Matte Ink and Loyalist. Honestly you guys, this is my holy grail. This is my favorite. I don't even know if you can read that. My favorite lipstick, like liquid lipstick ever. Usually with liquid lipsticks, I found them to be too pink or too brown or too like concealer looking, but this is the perfect liquid lipstick. <clears throat> Excuse me, it just makes me happy. Anyway, um, for my waterline, I used Maybelline Define Align in Ebony Black. I don't know, it looks like this. And for mascara, I used L'Oreal Telescopic and Revlon Lash Potion mixed together. I like the wands of both of them. The L'Oreal Telescopic is more, um, has like fine bristles and like makes sure to coat, makes, makes sure to coat every lash, but the lash potion like adds volume and I love it. Especially because I don't like wearing falsies, so. Oh, guys. Guys, I'm so sorry. Oh. This was supposed to be a drugstore. <sighs> Full face using only drugstore products. And I used the Eclipse Highlighter by Jeffree Star. And the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. But I already mentioned that. Um, I'm sorry guys, I, I'm a mess. Um, I will give you some drugstore options though that are actually amazing. Um, one is Off Wish. It is the Miss Rose Shimmer Highlight. If you haven't seen my video reviewing $1 highlighters, go check it out. I highly recommend it. It's my own video and I recommend it. <laughs> anyway, this is a beautiful highlight like just look at that 
I don't know if you can see it as well because again, like I said, my lights are set up differently. So who knows? But I love it. So you should love it. So yeah. And that was only one dollar. So that's like cheaper than drugstore. So we have, oh, dang it, my nail digged into it. So we have this highlight right here, right next to it. Oh, geez. Yeah, I did my nail into it by accident because I couldn't actually fit my finger in there very well. But um, it is the, what are you? The L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow and Ice Latte. It is an eyeshadow, but it's really amazing for highlighting. And again, drugstore. So there's a couple drugstore options. Just pretend I used those on my cheeks because it would have like the same effect, but different color and everything. Also, I did kind of pile on the highlight today and... Um, I like it. So. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you for staying till the end of the video if you made it. I know this was a long one, so for those that didn't, I don't I don't blame them because I talk too much. I'm still doing it right now as, as we speak. I'm still speaking too much, so <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, just goes to show that Again, you don't need expensive makeup to do good makeup. Unless you don't think my makeup's good, then that's on you. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Sorry if my eyeshadow is uneven. Again, I just kind of like slapped it on my face and was done. So <laughs> I will see you all on my next video. Bye, guys.